All right, let's get to the landing thing. Is is landing a good coach? We know he's a good coach, but do you trust him? He certainly may have done things Saturday to build more trust of people going into a big game and saying, no, 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 Dan Landing's going to do this. I trust him. He had a genius thing that went very viral. He had the 12-man penalty. And Warren Sharp is actually the one who created the entire narrative of, this is genius. He did this on purpose. Dan Landing held his press conference yesterday, and he was asked, hey, did you intentionally have the 12-man penalty happen? Yeah, there was a timeout before that. We spent an inordinate amount of time on situations. There are some situations that don't show up very often uh, in college football, but uh, this is one that uh, obviously uh, was something that we, we have worked on. So um, you can see the result. Brilliant. And I'm shocked he kind of admitted yes, because I would have just thought publicly you say no is an accident, knowing you know the advantage <laughs> in that situation. So that rule is probably going to get changed immediately when the season's over. And what's the change of the rule? Do you just go back to the original the clock. time? The you clock. just change the yes. clock on it? Well, the that's the tricky back. part, though, because how do you – does it apply to all penalties? This is where this is going to take a while. So, is it just in the final five minutes of a game? Here's well, my other confusion. Or, do you, or is it specific to that penalty – or do you – this is where – Final two be- minutes, it should be clock goes back is my thought. Now, here's my other confusion. Maybe I got buck-cracked sports. But you got you to gotta think about the opposite situation. I thought when you played with 12, it was a 15-yard penalty. Is no. that just no, the it's NFL? it's just five. Is it 15 in the NFL? I thought I saw somebody, and it's Twitter, so it's, again, I might no, have No, I think that's just an illegal sports. substitution, five-yard penalty. Illegal substitution, 12 yeah. men on the field, five so yards. So you either put the clock back or you make this a 15-yard penalty so we're not doing this anymore. Because yeah, that 15-yard well, one's tough, though, because then you get times where guys are just legitimately trying to run off the field, I, but you snap I it, and that's a 15-yard penalty. The fewer like, things we can have the officials try to determine <laughs> right. intent about, Okay, then the, the clock. Better. Make it a clock change. I think it'll this be a clock thing. A smart loophole by or, Or or it will cost you a time. I don't know. There's other things they they can do, but they have to. They have to make sure that the way that they write it is specific to this and then doesn't have other unintended it's, consequences. It's, it's the final two minutes. You put the clock back. This isn't very hard, but you have to eliminate this. But it was very smart of him. I mean, my God, I, I, how often do you see a coach purposely do that knowing that situation and how it goes? I mean, that was, I think, the alarming thing for the fans on the other side at the end of that game. We just got done talking about Ryan Day not calling a timeout in a critical situation, a timeout, by the way, that he still has in his pocket, so he might call it today. We'll see at what point this week he wants to use that final timeout. And on the other side, you have Lanning calling a timeout, adding a 12th man on the field. The refs didn't see it initially, so they didn't blow the play dead. And the play... Sorry, I didn't mean to. Oh, yeah, just, and then the play went, and you, you burned four seconds. He also was asked, though, about single coverage on the other side at the start of the question, and Jabbar Muhammad made a nice play on the ball, and he started answering it by saying, well, it wasn't single coverage. We had a safety over the top. Jabbar did make a nice play, yeah. but when he started answering it, I thought he was just going to answer that part of the question and then just stop and not acknowledge it, and then he gave that answer. Was that the reporter that likes to act like he's a coach in his yes. questions? Yes, and it was. He loved to go, no, actually, he wasn't a man. That was dog. <laughs> yeah, it was dog and coverage. And what dog coverage is. Yeah. I just always find that delightful. I, want, I didn't mean to interrupt you there, but what I was going to point out is the funniest thing about that moment and penalty, mm-hmm. Day, I don't even think, realized what had happened because Day ran up to the ref and was like, they have 12. Yeah. I don't think it resonated with Day that he purposely did it to run the clock. Day just wanted the penalty. He did. He wanted the five yards. And so, like, I'm not saying that means they're going to beat Ohio State in the Big Ten title game. It could go no. the other way. The game could have gone either way Saturday. I just think in the moment, in the conversation of, of coaching and what we talk about, that's an interesting thing that Lanning knew because they had prepared for, for those situations, whereas Day just screams about the penalty, not thinking about what uh, Lanning had done to the yes. clock. And the play that preceded that 12 seconds ran off for an incomplete pass because you didn't realize that the clock was running in that moment. And if you call a timeout with 22 seconds left with the wide receivers that they have, the clock stops in college football still under two minutes with a first down. So if you get a chunk play out for that, you spike the ball, you can kick a game-winning field goal. It, it was coaching malpractice late in that game. And a lot of the blames going on Will Howard for running around and you know scrambling out the final six seconds. It's not an easy thing to do when you get pressure. He can't just throw it away because they're still outside of field goal range. That's that's a desperation mode for a quarterback trying in the last play to make something happen, and he was a split second too late. It fell on Ryan Day for not using that timeout, and I think if they use it, they probably win the game.